Hello and welcome to another video. I am filming another um, Kiwi Co. You could create video since my ukulele videos seem to be popular this time. Instead of just doing a whole bunch of time lapse videos, I, I thought I would do kind of like an unboxing thing. Um, granted, I've never unboxed anything before, so I don't really know how you're supposed to do it. And I don't know what anything does, but I can hold it up and show you kind of what the box comes with. Um, if that's helpful, you can watch it. If you just want to see the time lapse videos, then go ahead and skip over this. <laughs> So this one is the KiwiCo Eureka Crate Build Your Own Perpetual Calendar for ages 14 and up. Um, okay, and I already opened it actually, so I'll open it. You first open it, it looks like this. Try not to drop anything. Um, it has the instruction kit and all of the things laid out on green tissue paper, so I'll go through them. This is the instruction manual. Um, with the instructions, it also has like behind the build kind of thing, so it explains to you how it works and why it works. Um, kind of the history of a, of a perpetual calendar. It also, which I find this super helpful, it has a troubleshooting page, so if something isn't working, then the answer could possibly be on this page, which I find very helpful. So now I'm just gonna go through each packet, hold them up for a few seconds so that you can see what's in them. So yeah, that's all that it comes with, and cue the time lapses. time to end this video so for this video in case you haven't noticed I built the perpetual calendar from KiwiCo and I actually really liked it I didn't really know what a perpetual calendar was when I first started but once I got going with it I kind of understood more about what it was and I actually really like it I've had it for about a week I haven't had too much trouble with it. Sometimes when I turn it, it'll turn a little bit farther than I want to, so it'll go um, like a day ahead, but that's pretty simple to fix. So I'll show it to you and see how it works. So this is the perpetual calendar on my bed, because why not? So as you can see, today is December, uh, Saturday, December 12th. Um, I think I'll turn it probably seven times so that you can see a whole week. So it has this handle here and you can 
it has two holes you can just put your fingers in it so you turn it there's sunday the 13th monday the 14th tuesday the 15th and then there it is like sometimes it'll go a little bit farther than intended again not a big deal all you have to do is uh twist it back just a little bit and it just falls right back into place um what number was that three wednesday thursday see there it is again fix it no big deal um saturday and sunday or maybe it's monday yeah, so there's a little bit of difficulty when it comes to flipping it. Sometimes it'll go a little bit farther than intended. But other than that, I really like it. You do have to rotate the months manually, so just keep that in mind. Um, once you get to 30 or 31, it won't just go. You have to twist this little thing. Another thing that I really like about this calendar, which I kind of showed you, was it's very easy to fix any mistakes so it's kind of hard to show you because I'm holding the camera with my one hand but um, you can easily lift this part up to fix the date so I have to uh, yeah that way it works again this is ideal to do with two hands but you lift this up and then you twist the day dial and then you just put it back down and you're all fixed. And then same with same with the day. You can just lift this up and twist it like that if you go too far. Um, super simple. Again, if it, it just like if it just twisted half, you can just slide it back into place without having to go through all that. But it's fairly simple. So that is the perpetual calendar. All in all, I really liked it. And if you decide to build it, I hope you have fun. Bye.